Out on the ice, there's just you. The ice crackles as you push into it, and then the hush. <gasps> the crowd holds their breath as your skates lift off the ice, and you take to the air. Clean quad, perfect. No, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about a guy like Patrick Chan. What do you think in that exact moment, you know, when athleticism and artistry bring you to a place where you get to dominate figure skating? And you do it here, you do it abroad, two world titles, six Canadian senior crowns. A teenage titan who has arrived. Kurt Browning, a four-time world champion himself, says Patrick may be the best figure skater of all time, but his career has not all been poetry in motion. Oh, down he goes. A fifth place finish at the 2010 Games in Vancouver left Patrick disappointed, downcast, losing big, he says, has helped him prepare for his next big goal, which is bringing home the gold at the 2014 Sochi Winter Games. Russia, here we come. <laughs> all right, everybody, Patrick James. Hey, nice to see you, man. You too. Welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks. It's been a couple of years in the works, but you're finally available. Thank you for doing yeah, this. Yeah, it's like three, what is it? I saw you in Vancouver, and yeah. I waited three years patiently by the phone waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> he was, don't blame me, he's been also practicing, okay? That's what he's been doing. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for doing this. And, it's my uh, pleasure. Congrats on the run. It's been fun, right? Yeah, it's been great. So here great. we are, one year before the Olympics, one year before mm -hmm. Sochi, and based well, on a lot of things, but also specifically the, the success of Canada in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Canadians, this is going to be a special game for Canadians, mm -hmm. isn't it? This time we'll be in Sochi and it'll be different. We'll have the support from Canada from overseas, but we'll, we'll feel much more like we're there to do a job and, uh, and not really getting dis too distracted. Yeah, I imagine distractions are real. I know a lot of athletes don't want to admit to that, mm -hmm. but it had to be real. Yeah, I, I, and I'm guilty of that. I, as much as I, people have told me like, oh, don't worry, the Olympics isn't much different. It's just there's rings everywhere, but it's a lot more than just that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's way more media attention, yeah. way more, uh, uh, like, the stars, like stars from all over the world, celebrities, you know, movie stars that show up and watch. And you, if you think about it, you're like, holy crap, like, I'm on, like, the, the real stage. I'm not, right. uh, it's not just a regular competition. When you, when you hit the ground and fall, well, not you, somebody. Um, <laughs> we get home and go, oh, oh. but right. do you go that, or do you know it's happening? That, that you're falling? But you just know that something's wrong. In the air, yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, I've been, though, though I've been surprised sometimes. I've, I've gone up, I'm like, okay, I, uh, what am I doing up here? Like, <laughs> this is not gonna be good. And then I'll land on my feet, I'll be like, Oh my God! <laughs> I'm on my feet. Okay. Anyways, keep going, and then I just yeah. you pick it up, right? Uh, yeah. There's definitely been those eureka moments. When a skater falls, how long before they shake it? Before they shake it off? Yeah. Immediately. Really? Immediately. Yeah. Because think about it. You got thousands of people watching. You're not just gonna go like this and be like. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're not going to do that. You're going to get up and keep going. But, but when, you, when you get back and you have to do your next thing or whatever it is you do, <laughs> do you have that moment where in your head you're like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For, the, for the next 30 seconds, I would yeah. say. 30 seconds, you're like, that really happened. Great. And then, especially at the beginning of the program, that's the worst. And when you make your first attempt for the jump and you miss it, the first one, you got seven more jumps to go, f to go yeah. and try and, and try to change your mentality. Um, yeah, it, it, that's the toughest part is to stay positive. But the idea of winning, if winning is the same to you as it is to us, because we, when we watch sports, Olympics, we, we basically, we're pretty primal about it. You either get the, the win or you don't get the mm -hmm, win. Rings mm -hmm. or no rings. Yeah. Except in your sport, it's different because you're talking about a judge's opinion. You're talking about a moment. So. If you don't get gold, does that mean you didn't win? Because you can still go out there and yeah. crush. With the exception of Joanne Rochette, her bronze to all of Canada was a win. Yes. Right? That was a yes, gold. Yes, definitely. But if, is a win the same thing to you as it is to us? For me, yes. At this point in my career, I can say as much as I want, I can say, yeah, if I have a good skate and I... I, I get fourth or get third, I'm, I'm still going to be happy. No, I won't be happy. <laughs> it, it, at this point in my career and um, after winning two world titles, I want to go out there and, and bring a gold back for Canada. We've never won... <laughs> we've never won. We've never won a men's Olympic, uh, men's Olympic gold medal. Right. Uh, Elvis got really close. Brian got really close. Yeah. Uh, but only silver. And, and I, I think it's my duty to, to, to do that. What I like about 
especially watching men's singles, is that I like anything that challenges people's perception of themselves and the world. So I like Kurt, you, Elvis, what you've done to even push the concept of what masculinity is. Mm -hmm. Dudes are like, I ain't figure skating. We watch figures and go, man, that is hard, <laughs> right? There's a, real, there's a real intensity that comes with it. Do, uh -huh. do you feel like that people perceive figure skating differently, men's figure skating differently now? Whew, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough, a tough question because figure skating's we've had the Elvis Stoikos and then we've had the Johnny Weirs of figure skating and uh, it, for me I just I just like to be myself and right. and when I go out there I I I love expressing and performing I, I, I like to see figure skating as a chance to act be an actor and and become something I, I can never be in normal daily life and put it on the ice and I can do it with uh, skates on. And yeah, I think the fact that it has Elvis Stoiko and Johnny Weir is why figure skating is one of the most important sports in the world, right? Uh -huh. Because in hockey, we're still having the conversation. In football, when will there be an openly gay athlete? When there will be that kind of thing? Right. Figure skating is a place where people are welcome. Exactly. It's about performance. Exactly. It, it's When you get on the ice, it's about the passion of skating. It right. uh, um, doesn't matter if you don't get along, if you don't believe in the same things off the ice, but when you're on it, you. You, you can create something special. The, um, speaking of special, there's, there's a great documentary, I don't know if you've ever seen this, about, uh, about a figure skating called Blades of Glory. It was, <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching and I learned a lot about the sport. This is, of course, the, the pivotal moment here. It's like they might be trying something I have never seen done. It is the fabled Iron Lotus. No, don't do it. I was wrong. It's suicide. <laughs> Awesome. Do skaters gather around and watch that together? Though maybe we would watch Strange Brew or something like that. <laughs> uh, I would watch it by myself. I don't yeah. care. I mean, jeez, it's like awesome. I, oh, it makes me want to find a, a male partner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you want to uh, play a game called Would You Wear It? Sure. Okay. Here's the thing. Um, love figure skating. I truly do. Outfit choices are unbelievable. This picture here, please. All right, it's Johnny Wear outfit. Would you wear this? Uh, no. <laughs> no. How about the, the feathers? I can't do the feathers. No. But the feathers slow you down, but the feathers would just flow in the wind. It'd look nice, right? <laughs> How about this one here? Looks like a tablecloth he's wearing. Philip <laughs> Candelero? It's so ba baggy. Uh, I would wear that. You would yeah. wear that? I, I would. Pirates of Caribbean kind of music, yeah. <laughs> Would you now? How does that work? Do you sit there and go through it? You're like, listen, I'm I'm feeling Johnny Depp, or I'm feeling, you know, and can and if I if I really help you to do it, can you one day do Christopher Walken? Can you? <laughs> like, that would be amazing if you danced or something like that. How about this? Would you wear this one here? Oh. What is that all about? I think you know my answer. Right? <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> That's a hell of an outfit. It is. Um, Evgeny Plushenko. Yeah, one of the greats, right? He is one of the greats, yeah. Not not there, but no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you wear this? See those lapels? I oh, love that, man. Classy. Super oh, man. classy. It was one of those where I like I wore for like three years in a row and my mom would have refused to make a new one. And it yeah, it's it's it was very very uncomfortable at your, one your, point. Your mom made that one work? <laughs> yeah, she did. She put it together. How old are you in that one? I don't know, would you say eight? When do Five? you realize that this is something that you might be really good at? I, honestly, I didn't know until <laughs> until I won my first national championship, I think, in uh, 2008. Really? Yeah, it was weird. I just never really... Because nobody... I've never been... Not, not that I can remember anyone saying, like, oh, you're going to be you're gonna be great, you're going to be an amazing skater, keep going. It was just like one of those where I just had fun and I was enjoying myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a pleasure, man. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, everybody. We'll be right back.